Welcome to the Existential Empath Podcast. My name is Tanya and I am an intuitive empath. My intention is to share valuable tips, tools, and techniques that I have learned so you can tap into your own inner healer naturally and intuitively. Welcome back, everyone. Today, I have guest Tom Palladino. Tom is the founder of Scalar Light Technology, a quantum treatment process that has successfully healed patients with illnesses such as HIV, Ebola, herpes, hepatitis, malaria, and more. Tom has spent decades researching and perfecting Scalar Light Technology. He has helped thousands of people in the process just by using their photos. Tom mm-hmm. seeks to make a difference in the world by providing people with the education and tools to restore optimal health and enhance their quality of life. Welcome, Tom. It's a pleasure to have you on the show. Thank you so much for the invitation. I'm looking forward to this. Me too. So we are in the era of quantum healing. I think we've always been in the era of quantum healing, but now we're waking up to the era of quantum healing. And so we're going to talk about scalar light technology today. And so I work in the quantum field and there are many ways that we can heal on an energetic level and it can happen quite rapidly, right? When we're working in the, mm-hmm. on the quantum field. So yes. you have perfected a healing technology with scalar light. So let's dive into that, Tom. What is scalar light? Uh, everybody is an expert in scalar light, Tanya. Scalar light is sunlight or starlight in its primal form. This is the energy that drives the universe. This is the animating force of, of the cosmos. And I have an instrument that can capture that energy. So I'm not capturing electricity. I'm capturing the energy of the stars, scalar energy, what some people call zero point energy. Mm -hmm. This is what makes my work unique. I don't work with electrical instruments. I work with scalar instruments. Wow, that's fascinating. So is scalar light different than scalar energy or are they the same? Are they? Those are synonymous terms. I'll I'll, I'll explain it in, in this sense that scalar energy, the energy from the sun and the stars, scalar light, scalar energy, is um, zero point energy, what many people call life force energy mm-hmm. or, or cosmic energy, mm-hmm. meaning what? You don't get it from a power plant. Cosmic energy, life force energy is from God. It's from the sun and the stars. So we make that distinction. You see, in this world, we have to power or we have to find some source of power, coal, nuclear, wind turbine. We have to create that energy. Scalar energy, you don't create it. It already exists. It's the stars. It's the energy of the stars. Oh, that's fascinating. And so uh, I guess what I'm thinking, I've got, I don't even know if it's similar to this, but I have a Nikola Tesla purple plate right here. And this is also the same kind of concept of tuning into that chi or that life force energy. And so uh, I want to talk a little bit about this, Tom, and how you're utilizing this to heal. So can you talk a little bit about how it works? Uh, is it a physical machine? Is it an energy transference like Reiki? How it, does it, this process work? It, it is a physical instrument. I'm going to show you the audience of photographs. This is one of the instruments that I work with. So they are scientifically calibrated, engineered instruments. Now, what is unique about my work? When you're working with scalar energy, quantum energy, which is everywhere, you're able to access any person, any plant, any object, anywhere. Meaning what? People email me photographs. The quantum field is found on a person's photograph. I'm going to hold up my photograph. My photograph has scalar energy or scalar light attached to it. That's the quantum field. And I don't work with people. This is a new type of healing in which you work with the quantum field, the energy field. So if you and I can have this discussion by way of a conference call through our computers, then I can have a discussion with a person, so to speak, and provide quantum healing through their photograph. So the world now has gone online and is conducting business or conference calls through through a stream yard or Zoom. And now I am online and I have a healing technology by way of a person's photograph, their quantum field. So this is not a biological session. It's an energy session. And the means of communication is through a scalar energy instrument using the quantum field, a photograph. That's really cool. So when you're picking up on the quantum energy, are you tuning into their auric field, their energetic field, their etheric field, all of those different bodies? 
Oh, yes, precisely. So a scalar energy, a quantum healing, is through the auric field, the etheric field. So we, we're now seeing that there is a non-physical universe, the auric, the aura body, or the etheric field, and we can access that etheric field, and we can send information into the etheric field. So it's not a biochemical process. This is not medicine. This is quantum healing through the, I'll say, non-physical dimension. Absolutely. And I call that the cosmic internet. When you're going out there yes. and just pulling information, like people call it the Akashic Records. I call it the cosmic internet. It's just, it's all out there in the vortex, so to speak. It's just pulling it from that information. It is. So this instrument allows me to access that cosmic internet. Is, is that the term you want to use? Yeah. I, hey, whatever <laughs> term. I, that's just what I call it because <laughs> people can understand yeah. that. Okay. No. <laughs> For instance, we're having, again, this Zoom conference by way of the internet, which is wonderful. You know, this is the cloud that's speaking, uh -huh. but there's something much more refined. How about an infinite cloud? How about a cloud that you don't need Zoom or you don't need social media to interact? A cloud that pre-exists, which is the Akashic record. Mm -hmm. And it's much more favorable to work through the Akashic record than a... a a engineered computer internet. So what's my point? If you want infinite energy, go to the sun of the stars. If you want an infinite connection, go to the Akashic record. Now that's not to downplay our advancement today. Thank God for the computer and, and the internet, but there's a better internet, the cosmic internet, the scalar energy internet, the Akashic record in which all information is embodied and it's an infinite repository of information infinite absolutely and it's fascinating because i i do a lot of quantum healing too and i don't even have to be in contact with the person i just will sit yes. in that meditative state and i will immediately get downloads of information coming right. through you know specifically and so you know sure. I'm also big into rife frequencies. Royal rife, you sound to oscillate at different frequencies to kill viruses and bacteria, similar to like a singer exploding a wine glass, right? Or when you yes. would take your finger on the top of different glasses and it would make different tones. And so I've listened to those many times to heal. And he also was using the quantum field to be able to tune mm -hmm. in and tap in. And there's so many ways that we can heal. So Tom, can you share with us some of the, things that you've healed people yeah. from using this technology. Okay, so that's a great analogy. Some people have a trained voice in which they can sing and project into a wine glass or some type of glass their voice. And that is the law of resonance in which your voice will start resonating or match the pitch, match the frequency of this glass. And what happens? The glass disassembles, it explodes. It, it fragments. Why? The law of resonance says that two equally matched uh, frequencies will serve to, to uh, interact, and the law of resonance under that circumstance will actually break apart a wine glass or some type of glass. We've seen that. That's true. That's valid. Absolutely. So I'm, I don't use my voice. I use my instrument. <laughs> and then in order for me to shadow a microbe, I use a photograph. Now, if, again, I'm going to use this analogy. If a trained vocalist can use their voice and match their, their pitch, match their frequency to the glass, then the glass will shadow. How do I match up the frequency, so to speak, or the rate of a microbe? I take a photograph of the microbe. I place that photograph, this is the herpes virus, inside a scalar energy instrument. And by the law of resonance, this energetic code of herpes is sent into a person's quantum field. And like the singer can shatter glass with their voice, my instrument can send and transmit this energy field into a person, into the quantum body, and we can shatter herpes. So you can either shatter a wine glass with your voice or you can shatter the herpes virus with the quantum instrument. That's so cool. And it's just basically changing the vibration, right? The, the frequency yes. of... The herpes simplex virus, if you're having an outbreak, it's it's at a frequency, it's at a vibration. And what you're yes. doing is you're transmuting that, shifting that, changing that frequency, yes. right? Yes. And and what happens? I love that word transmutation. If this is the herpes virus and we 
we negate the molecular bonds, that's what I contend happens, the herpes virus falls apart into smaller components. We fragment, we shatter the herpes virus. Now consider what I'm saying. This is a dependable process. Working with light, light never makes a mistake. Scalar light never makes a mistake. Light is fundamental. Light obeys the laws of science. Working with scalar light, we can direct that scalar light and have it carry, transport the information of the herpes virus into the quantum body, and it always finds its mark. It will always identify the herpes virus and shatter the molecular bonds. Hence, this is the guaranteed process by way of a scientifically designed instrument to send light, scalar light of the herpes virus into the quantum field and to seek out and destroy the herpes virus. It always works. It's dependable. That's so neat. And, you know, back in ancient Egypt, they used to use the Ankh as that. They'd use certain sacred geometry, the form yes. of the pyramid, being inside of the py pyramid, using that like an orgone or organite energy yes. and allowing, you know, that um, to, they could shift parallel realities. They could uh, shift timelines. They could do a lot of really cool things, which I know we all have access to this in the in the Kashic field, in, in the quantum or in the cosmic internet, right? It's just a matter of us tuning into it. So Tom, can you explain a little bit how you received this information? Because I love this because I receive downloads all the time. So okay. talk a little bit about how this all transpired for you. How did you just, you know, be inspired yeah. to create this machine? Thank you. I, I come from a Catholic background. And throughout my life, I've received messages from Jesus and Mary. And I've received inspiration from this source, from Jesus and Mary. This is the way I could really venture into this uncharted field, this uncharted science. What am I getting at? Scalar light, uh, zero point energy is a new science. There is no college textbook. How did I learn this? God taught me. These instruments are custom built. How did I learn the, the nature? How did I learn the, the rules of scalar science? Well, I understand those rules, those laws by God's providence. So this is groundbreaking research. I am carrying on the work of Nikola Tesla. Yep. And I can prove much, much of the work of Nikola Tesla, at least at a, at a miniature level in my laboratory. Because what Tesla observed, I am observing. Tesla was the first scalar energy scientist, the free energy science, we call it. I am following in his footsteps. I have a free energy instrument, and it does not belie, it does not behave like an electrical instrument. So this is a new science, quantum science. The energy is from the sun and the stars. I follow in the footsteps of Tesla, and what we can do with this energy far exceeds the ability of the electromagnetic spectrum. That's neat. And, you know, I, I look at Tesla, I look at Royal Rife, I look at all of these pioneers in these areas. And, you know, they date way back to the Atlantean times when Atlantis was creating these, yes. you know, technologies and whatnot. Yes. So I do feel that many of us are tuning into that Atlantean and Lemurian energy of things that, you know, in, in our reincarnation or past lives, we're tuning into this quantum field. And now we're opening ourselves up to receive this information. And, you know, I was doing ozone therapy back during COVID and, you know, all of this stuff. And I was doing uh, UV light therapy and all of these things. And I was just naturally, I'm like, how do I know how to do this? You know? And right. I don't think this is our first rodeo, Tom. I think we've done this <laughs> many, many times before. It's just, this is a new technology to this particular timeline that we're in yeah. because we've been so programmed as a society. I worked in healthcare for more than 15 years. And so that was definitely my way of bucking the system a little bit is saying, hmm, there's got to be some newer, more advanced ways to heal and yeah. learning how to tune into this. And so Tom, Probably. can you heal more than one person at a time? Can you heal communities? Have you tried? Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yes, I have. And so hold on to your, to your seat. Uh, uh, I'm going to make this declaration today in my laboratory by working with photo collages. Today, I work with half a million people. I can work with people simultaneously. So I want to make this very clear to the audience. I started off back in the 90s working with one person at a time, and it worked. And then I found that if I work with a family or a small collage, it was easy because there's no interference. Now I'm working with half a million people a day. I, I mean every word of that. 
and there's no interference with this signal. So it seems that these instruments work like a universal satellite in which they can send signals anywhere in the world or, or for that matter, throughout the solar system or the cosmos. My predecessor, a man by the name of Galen Hieronymus back in the 60s was working with the Apollo astronauts. He had photographs of the Apollo astronauts and he could monitor their biorhythms or their energetic signal while they were on the moon during the Apollo mission. Wow. So it seems that time and distance are no factor here. So consider what I'm saying, people. This is free energy. It transcends time and space. A scalar energy instrument can access the Akashic record anywhere. And there's no pollution. There's no drawback. It's because you're not working with a chemical, there's no chemical reaction. There's no pollution. This is the answer we're looking for. This is the suppressed technology. Now, to cut to the chase, why is this suppressed? Because it's so easy, it's so affordable, that scalar energy, this type of technology, will change the industrial landscape. It will change the military industrial platform. Absolutely. And has it already changed the industrial military platform? You know, they say, well, we're 50 plus years behind here in normal civilization to what the military is working on. And so I had a friend who actually created a car that ran on water. And he, I swear to he was channeling Nikola Tesla because the amount of information he had, he was able to do orgone busters and he could bust thunderclouds above his house when he was like 10 years old. And he's like, how did I know how to do this? I just was right. channeling. So he was tuning into the cosmic internet and receiving yes. that information. <laughs> and we all have that. You know, some people call that mysticism. Others call that prayer, meditation, intuition. I can guarantee the listening audience, everybody has this ability. Everybody's a super genius. We just don't realize how super genius we are. We don't realize these God-given gifts. Everybody has this ability. Just ask God for it. Absolutely. And, you know, learning that and well, relearning that, because I think it's already built within us. It's just a matter of relearning and remembering who we truly are on a divine level. Right. And yeah. being able to and opening yourself up to receiving that information. And so, Tom, tell us a little bit about the services that you provide and in, in sessions and whatnot. How can people contact you? Um, we want to make this very clear and very simple to people. Obviously, it's a new science. So how do we make this clear and simple? Anybody in the world can visit our website and you're going to email us your photograph and you can include family members. The website is scalarlight.com, S-C-A-L-A-R, scalarlight.com. And you'll see a 15-day free trial in which you simply upload your bus shot of a facial photograph. That's all. And for 15 days, we will, for free, treat you for microbes, balance your chakras, and deliver, assemble, transmute micronutrients. Now, we do that for 15 days because we want the audience, we want people to experience this with, without any duress in, in, in a relaxed atmosphere. And after 15 days, it's very convincing. 15 days of having a germ cleanse and a chakra balancing is very convincing to people. So... I ask everybody in listening to this podcast, go to the website, scalarlight.com. There's no obligation. There's no credit card or none of that nonsense. Try it. This is how I can introduce the world to my groundbreaking research and then inculcate that concept that this is simple and easy and safe, that quantum healing is real. And once this takes off, then my goodness, we'll start working with 10 million people a day. <laughs> yeah, it's like, it's like the Maharishi effect. When I lived in Florida, I saw that I saw, we had a huge, it was, it was like a category five storm coming at us. And I would witness people, groups of people going to Miami and praying and meditating. And I'd see the storm move to the other side. And then all those people would move over to the other side. And then I'd see it go back. And so it's fascinating to think that with a simple technology, well, as simple as it is, I know it wasn't simple for you to create and when it was coming through, but as simple as it is to be able to heal millions of people instantaneously almost yes. is yes. unfathomable for people to even imagine, but it's, exactly. it, it, it can happen. It's in the quantum field. Yes. <laughs> yes, because we're in the information field. There's no physical impediment. We're working with information. Information light is perfect. You know, people are imperfect. Human reasoning is imperfect. 
the instruments I work with abide by the laws of science. The laws of science, you can execute anything you want if you follow those laws of science. And when I'm working with half a million or a million people, I can simply tell the instrument to seek out and break down a microbe under the laws of science. So this is not auto suggestion. This is, there's no <laughs> hyperbole here. I'm not imagining this. I have the test results to prove it. Absolutely. And so, you know, one thing I notice when I work with my clients on a quantum level, their, their pets will show similar things. The pets yeah. will mirror things back to them. Do you work with people's pets as well? We do. We do. And we have great success with pets. By the way, pets, because they're uh, unencumbered, they seem to respond quite favorably. Yeah, absolutely. I do notice that because immediately they'll tell me what's wrong with their pet. And I'm like, all right, we got to focus on you because this is what's, you know, your pet has a cough. We got to look in this throat chakra. There's something going on or in the heart chakra area. <laughs> so I was just curious because I know I have a lot of pet lovers who watch my show and listen to my, my show. So I just wanted to ask, but Tom, is there anything else you'd like to share that you feel maybe we haven't touched on in this show? I, I want to leave the audience with this. When you pray, when you meditate, when you have positive thoughts, all of that is a scalar wave. Now keep in mind, scalar energy is non-physical. It's the energy of the cosmos. So prayer, meditation, positive thoughts, your emotion, all of that represents this life force energy in which your intention, your disposition creates the world around you. You've heard this so many times, think positive and positive things will happen, You're right? And this is what scalar energy or scalar light is. It's your mind working with the cosmos. It's the brain waves that God has given you. So think positive, be happy, meditate, pray. I can guarantee you there is a cause and effect relationship here. This informational system, this Akashic record creates the universe. First you have the instructions, then you have the physical universe. Absolutely. And so for all of you out there who might be skeptical about this, or for most of you, I know a lot of you listen to my show are really into this quantum, you know, healing and quantum field, go check out scalarlight.com and sign up, get your trial, give it a shot. What can you lose, right? Give it a try and see, uh, you know, what happens. <laughs> and uh, there's nothing wrong with that. So Tom, I appreciate you for coming on the show. Thank you for bringing your knowledge and wisdom to the world and bringing uh, new ways of thinking, new perspectives on how we can heal, how we can shift our lives. And uh, I love that we ended it with positive thinking, positive right. energy and positive intention. So thank you so much for coming on the show today. My pleasure. Thank you. You deserve to navigate your life in alignment with health, happiness, and abundance. To learn more about the services that I provide, including Beyond Quantum Healing Hypnosis, EFT Tapping, and the Emotion Code, visit my website at www.theexistentialempath.com.